busted me once again. I was doing kind of a little meditation in this Zen garden because I'm going to take you over to these beautiful bonsai pine trees that I've been working on for about four years. So I was just trying to, you know, get in my chi, you know, get in my flow and uh, just trying to get cool and calm before we go over and talk about these fabulous pine trees. So I'm going to be leaving this beautiful little meditation area. So let's you and I head over there. Morning everybody. Nate caught me over there doing my morning meditation, so I'm all very chill right now, very relaxed. We're in this kind of zen uh, pine tree forest in a dense urban area, but you really wouldn't know it. And uh, my buddy Charlie the Crow again, he's been following me around lately. Sometimes he whispers in my ear good things for me to do with trees, but today we're on the scene, we're looking at these beautiful, really old pine trees that have been kind of shaped to give a kind of a zen bonsai look and feel. Now I got the 911 call about four years ago from the owner of this building telling me that his pine trees that he's loved and has had for decades were starting to look really bad, really sick. So I came over, did a health appraisal, figured out what was going on with them. When I came on the scene, all these pines were about half dead. They looked nowhere near as good as they look now. About 50% of the needles were brown and they were shedding, so there was massive defoliation, which if we, as we've discussed before, when you have less leaves or needles, the tree's ability to photosynthesize or make food is proportionately reduced. And then that creates kind of a downward spiral and that's when you lose your trees. So came on the scene, we figured out what to do. I pruned off all the dead diseased wood. Um, I then uh, deep root fertilized every one of these trees with my magic proprietary tablets. Uh, they're macro and micro tablets. They're resin bonded. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. They last about a year and a half in the ground and they have macro and micronutrients in them. Now on the macro side, that would be NPK. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, and then they have calcium. Those are your majors. Now on the minor side, the trace minerals would be things that you'll oftentimes see in human vitamins like boron, copper, sulfur, manganese, and zinc. So it's a full spectrum tablet. So I loaded up all the trees, got him on a, a specific deep watering regimen, and uh, within about three to four months, I got a phone call from him telling me that his trees had greatly and significantly improved. That one is favor, and so now every year uh, we come back here, we trim these, so you'll see afterwards, I'll thin these out, they'll look even better. Uh, we fertilize them, and uh, so we're just trying to keep them healthy now going forward. So, uh, Charlie is gonna say goodbye to you. And we gotta get to work now, because my boss is gonna be on my case. So we'll see you on the flip side of this job. Bye. Okay, so I've got my nice little sharp, razor sharp beak clippers. These are perfect for doing this kind of work. So, now I actually had a chance uh, a number of years ago when I was in Tokyo to study with their arborists in their gardens in front of the Imperial Palace. And uh, they use old world styles and techniques and equipment even. But nothing replaces a nice pair of little clippers for doing small work like this. So. These trees very much have that kind of layered effect as you'll see in a classic Japanese garden. Very lateral and then you have these little tufts and puffs here. They're meant to look like clouds. So it's very meditative. That's why I was doing my little meditation before this to kind of get in the zone here. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, these little things sticking up here, these are called candles and they come on about every year. So I'm gonna knock the candles down here and uh, oh, Charlie Crow. Ah, nice to see you, buddy. So we're just going to knock these down, come in here like this, and I'll do all of them like that. I'll knock the candles down. You can see they've all popped up here. We'll flatten the tops out, and then I'll also, I'll also thin out Mr. UPS truck. I'll also thin out the insides a little bit. 
Um, there's a little bit of uh, some dead stuff I noticed here. Here, come on over here, have a look here. You can see there's some dead patches in here. Um, this one doesn't look quite as well. See if you can zoom in real close here, Nate. You see this little fuzzy white stuff? Can you get a picture of that right there? That little wispy, super, super fine web, spider web? Those are webs from what are known as spider mites. And spider mites are really anathema. They're really pernicious to these trees. Um, Italian cypress, pine trees, whatever. They can kill a tree very quickly. So when I get done here, I'm gonna take the hose, a garden hose here, and I'm gonna blast all these little webs off here. Hopefully on a contact kill, I'm gonna get most of these guys. I'm gonna like give them the deep six. So we wanna get, so you wanna pay attention when you're working on trees, when you notice a lot of stuff telltale evidence of something else going on you want to be alert to that uh, alert to that and try to figure out what else is harming or hurting the trees so I happen to know that spider mite we're gonna blast those guys into eternity so the first thing I'm doing right now is I'm taking the candles off you know like happy birthday we put all the candles on the uh, birthday cake that's what we call them candles because they kind of you know stick up every year the, the pine tree will put out new candles so first thing we do is we knock those down we kind of level off the platform, so to speak. Kind of flip around here. You can see these are smaller. I'm still going to knock those down. I'll just trim them down a little bit. So the first thing is do that. And then I'll come back a little later, and then I'll thin these clusters out. It's it's a kind of a tedium, a tedious kind of work and all that, but uh, it ends up making the tree look... Uh, beautiful it keeps this design uh, the integrity of this design intact so that's what we're working on so I'm just gonna keep busy looky here. here so we got more of that spider mite webbing so we have to be really careful these spider mites are super aggressive they're super dangerous so if they take over a tree they can suck out the sap the lifeblood of that tree very quickly um, and then you're gonna have another problem to deal with so like I said we'll, we'll spray these trees down with a power hose when we get done then the other thing I like to do when I'm working, is I'll take and I'll shake out the cluster too, so you see a lot of leaf droppage comes out of it. And then, you know, I'll go inside here and then I'll do, you know, some strategic thinning as well. You see these candles get quite long here. Boom. We just, so we just take those off, flatten this top out. Okay, so here I am. I dig the hole for my magic fertilizer tablets with a shovel. So I've got a nice size hole. And then I put in uh, uh, 10 to 12 of these into uh, each and every hole. Uh, these last a year, year and a half, as I said earlier. They're full spectrum tablets. Then I put the dirt back on top. We just kind of pack it down a little bit. And then depending on the size of the tree, I will do three, four, or five holes around the base of the tree with 10 to 12 tablets in each hole. Uh, they're water activated, so I teach the client how to do a periodic deep soaking. Which, which waters the tree, hydrates the tree, and then feeds the tree at the same time. Uh, and then I will come back and do this again in 12 to 14 months. And that's why these trees are looking so much better. Grasshopper, you snuck up on me again, grasshopper. It's okay because I'm now very chill. I've been meditating with my Buddha man, playing some beautiful music with my flute. We're done lacing out these beautiful pine trees in this grove in the urban jungle. So glad you stopped in for another episode of the Tree Whisperer. Having gone to the Far East and the farthest stretches of your mind and the universe, we're now back here on planet Earth with Mr. Buddha, me, Nate the Great on the camera. Thank you so much, Nate. And I'm just gonna go out with some music. <laughs>